Hey y'all, this week's quick tip is all about the new table features in Google Docs. And I love using tables to organize information and we really needed these new features. So you can pin your header rows so that they repeat if your table goes over that one page. You can also have unsplittable rows. So if you have some content right at the end and you don't wanna split that row from page one to page two, you can also quickly click and drag and arrange those columns and rows. And there's also some hovering buttons so you can add new rows and columns very quickly. And you can even sort the data. So let me show you how this works. First of all, I wanna make sure that everyone knows how to insert a table. So it's very easy. You just go to insert table and you hover over how many rows and columns you want. Boom, that's it, super simple. But I have a really big table down here to show you how some of these new features work. So the first thing I wanna show you is this table goes over one page and I do have some column headings here at the top. But oftentimes it's kind of a pain. You wanna see those headings repeat on your second page. So to do that, what we need to do is to pin this row to the top. And so you can click this little thumbtack to pin header up to this row, and now it's pinned. And if we scroll down to our second page, we will see it there repeated as well. Super awesome. The other thing that you can do is something called unsplittable rows. And at first, it took me a moment to, to really wrap my head around what they were talking about here. But I have an example. So in my last row of this page right here, I have some content in this third column that is going into the second page. And it makes no sense when you look at the second page. You don't know what that is and that it goes together. So here's what you can do. Highlight the row and select it and you can go to Format, Table, Table Properties, and this new little sidebar will pop up. And by default, this little box is checked, allow row to overflow across pages. If you uncheck that, you will now get your content into one block on one page. I should say one row, not one block. But that is what that neat little checkbox can do. So if that drives you crazy like it does me, super easy to do. The other thing that we can do is now we can easily hover to add a column or hover over here to add a row and you can move things around. So you see these little dots? This allows you to simply click and drag to move things around and change the order of your, um, your rows and your columns. Sorry, go back. There we go. And the last thing I wanna show you is how to sort the data. So I have names and class periods and colors in this table. And if I wanna put this in alphabetical order, all I have to do is hover over that column and you see where it says sort table. We can sort ascending or descending. So um, once I sort it ascending, I now have it in alphabetical order. And yes, it did rearrange those other columns, similar to how that would work inside Google Sheets. Of course, keep in mind, Google Sheets is definitely the better data manager, but it is so great to be able to do this inside docs, inside a table, inside, can I say inside one more time, inside tables in Google Docs. And I love that this sidebar is here. So check this out because there are some other things that I have not shown you in terms of alignment and sizes and colors. There's all kinds of things that you can customize in your table that are super, super easy now. If you like this tip, click that thumbs up and please subscribe so that you get notified when new tips come out each week. Bye, y'all.